dollars. We're leaving Anchorage this morning and we're going on a little Alaska road trip. We're driving up toward Denali National Park today. It's about a four hour drive from Anchorage, but do you think we're gonna do it in four hours? Absolutely not. We're gonna take many a scenic detour. We've completely exploded all over this room, so we have to pack up and eat our little hotel breakfast and then we're gonna be on our way. have a little farmer's market going on in the parking lot over there. They have a sign that says ice cream and it's 10.30 in the morning, so you down? <laughs> <laughs> We have a good breakfast this morning, so we're stopping at a little cafe recommended to us by my sister-in-law, who used to live here. We are driving through the town of Wasilla right now, and back when Kelly and I used to live here, we had a pretty crazy experience in this town. We were on a day trip getting supplies, stopped in the Target parking lot. While we were there, we ran into Sarah Palin. No joke, we saw Sarah Palin in Alaska. I met Sarah Palin in Alaska before I saw a bear. We are so lucky to have this clear weather today. It is so clear and we are on George Parks Highway. It's pretty much a straight shot up to Denali and we can see Denali. We're still a good three hours away from the actual park. So it's a big mountain, guys. And we're so, so lucky to have this view right now. It is there and it's looming and I'm so happy, oh my God. It's not very often you can see it from Anchorage, so this is really cool. Yeah, this is quite the treat. A little bit of history about how we first met. Eight years ago, we were both working seasonally at a wilderness lodge here in Alaska. We haven't been back in eight years, so this trip is near and dear to our hearts. Since we're driving up to Denali, the lodge we worked at is right on the way, so we decided to stop by. Unfortunately, it did not open this year or last year due to COVID. We were hoping we could like have a meal or maybe stay a night, but it is not meant to be. We were able to go up the driveway a little bit though to this little viewpoint that we really liked. The lodge we worked at was Mount McKinley Princess Cruises Lodge and it was called that because it has an amazing view of the mountain. It used to be Mount McKinley, now it's just called Denali. Half the time the mountain is in clouds, but today is just the clearest day we could have possibly yeah, hoped for. It is crystal clear out. So it's bringing back lots of old memories for us. A million dollar view of Denali right now. And so we've stopped just outside of the lodge and we're taking a ton of photos. Pretty bizarre being here. Yeah. Neither it of feels, us have been back in eight years. It feels weird. The mountain looks bigger than I remember. I don't know. It's just, there's all sorts of different emotions about it, but we're recognizing some of the old places that yeah. we, you know, used to drive by. And, it's too uh, bad we couldn't actually go up into the lodge, yeah. but even just being like the spot that we're parked at right now, we hung out here once and looked for the Northern Lights yeah. when we were first one of our first there. One of our first dates. Dates. <laughs> <laughs> During the pandemic, we were making what we called awkward chats, which is where we just kind of sat down and and talked about our past trips, the one about our, our summer in Alaska together. Yeah, they're kind of like podcasts or our take on a, a podcast. So if you want to check that out, we'll link it in the description. Yeah, there's a lot more detail about that summer. Since we've mentioned a lot of times, like, we used to live here, we used to live here. It was, Sorry. you know, when we were little babies in our 20s. <laughs> <laughs> the place that we worked was a wilderness lodge, and it really is out in the middle of nowhere. There's just a river, one road to and from. Closest gas station is like an hour round trip. So yeah, it was a pretty cool time in our lives. I didn't have a car, and he showed up, and he had a car, so I automatically wanted to be friends with him. <laughs> it was kind of like adult summer camp for sure. Yeah. It was really fun. And we got to explore Alaska. And finish. we met and now we're married. So. Yes, now we're married. Aww. <laughs> 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 Aww. 
just past the lodge where we used to work is an amazing viewpoint. So we've stopped here and you can either stay down near the parking lot or you can hike up a little bit. And this is actually where we first saw the Northern Lights eight years ago, which is a really, really good memory. the drive and the journey from California? I totally think it is. Okay guys, it's time for your Denali trivia. Fun facts about Denali. So if you're not interested in this, skip forward a couple of minutes. Up until a couple of years ago, the official height of Denali was 20,320 feet, which is funny because that's the name of the restaurant Kevin and I met at when we worked up here, the 2320 Bar and Grill. But with uh, lasers and different technology, they've actually determined that it's more like 20,310 feet. So depending on where you look, it's somewhere in between that range. No matter if it's 310 or 320, it is the tallest mountain in North America. Also up until a few years ago, it was called Mount McKinley, but they decided to rename it back to its original name of Denali, which is an Athabascan word that loosely translates to the great one or the high one. When you're talking about Denali and Mount Everest, it's important to distinguish between the tallest and the highest. So the highest is actually Mount Everest, which is over 29,000 feet. But in terms of the tallest mountain, it's actually Denali because they measure that from the base of the mountain to the top of the mountain. Since Mount Everest's base is at 17,000 feet, it's only 12,000 feet to the top from the base, but Denali's base is actually at about 2,000 feet. So it's 18,000 feet from the base to the top. So technically it's the tallest mountain in the world. As a freestanding mountain, it would be taller than Mount Everest. And yes, you can climb it. And no, we have not tried. We'll talk more about that in our Taquitna video coming up in a couple videos. Make sure you subscribe for that. <laughs> eh. That's all I got for my Denali trivia. You did a great job. It's good? Yeah, great job. so let me know if you use any of that in trivia nights. We are actually in Denali State Park right now. We'll be up in Denali National Park tomorrow, but this is the state park. We are actually 40 miles away from Mount Denali, which is kind of crazy because it looks huge from here, but it's still 40 miles in that direction. It's so big that it creates its own weather system, so the majority of the time there's clouds surrounding the whole thing, you can't even see it. So to have a clear day like this is pretty insane. Did I, do, did I do good? Cut. <laughs> Just a short drive down the road, we've come to the North Denali viewpoint. I think that the views at the south are much better than this one. It is still nice to stop and check out, but you really don't get the same view of Denali from this end. until we get to our super special awesome accommodation near Denali. Also we would love to film out the front of the windshield but that's a little hard to do right now because there's like 200 dead bugs. And this is not even bad. This is August. The bug season is like about June in Alaska and they say the mosquito is the Alaska state bird and I can attest that the mosquitoes in Alaska are huge. As big as birds. Bigger like bite through your blue jeans huge. Welcome to our home for the next few nights. We are staying at the Denali Hostel and Cabins, which is just south of Denali Park. And we rented out this awesome little tiny home. We're gonna do a full tour of that in a later video though, so stay tuned for that. Right now, it's getting pretty late and we're both very hungry, so we're gonna head across the street for some dinner. So we came just across the road to this place called McKinley Creekside Cafe for dinner and we've kind of gone all out. We get, I think we're getting salmon chowder, salmon on the salad, and halibut tacos. And because it is about 40 degrees outside, which is very cold for moi, we got some hot buttered rum cocktails to warm us from the inside out. I'm a happy girl. I didn't want you back up on me. <laughs> 
salmon chowder has just arrived, and we added on some house-made sourdough. It's really good. Oh yeah. You gotta try this. Put the camera down to try it. Drink's really good too. Nice and warm. I'm pretty happy. One of the reasons we came back to Alaska was because of the food. For how remote these places are, they have surprisingly great food. This is a place we've never tried before, but so far, I am absolutely loving everything about this meal. And I got a salad with fried goat cheese, candied walnuts, lemon poppy seed dressing, craisins, apples, and I put a big slab of salmon on it. It looks amazing. And I decided to go for a halibut taco. Anytime you can eat a halibut in Alaska, you know it's gonna be good. That meal was so good. Yeah, and we're both very exhausted. So I think we're gonna end this one here. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned because we have a lot more awesome adventures in Alaska coming up. Including going deep into Denali National Park tomorrow. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Today we are taking a bus tour into the interior of Denali. Uh, we're driving up towards Denali State Park. State Park, yeah. I mean, that's well, not that's, that's not, not untrue. That's not it's not untrue. We so, could. <laughs> I was gonna... However, we did drive up the. Um, we were able to drive up. We were, we were we were able. Yeah, the the lodge was. The lodge was a root. Which is, it's, it's pretty, it's Let's film some of these bugs. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at it. Oh, I can make it look like a volcano. Okay. What's the name of this place? Denali Hostel and Cabins. Okay.